Yo, what is up everyone? Today we're going to be doing uh, the SRPSS Tournament Titan deck sponsored by Tom Earn. So this deck has been dominating tournaments lately, mostly in the hands of SRPSS. Basically, he went undefeated in the, uh, in the April arena. And I think uh, Victor played it a little bit as well. And he also, I think he only lost one game playing it. So this might be the new meta breaking deck. The idea basically is that you can use Razorbacks and Missiles to handle almost everything. And then Titans just have in infinite hit points with Liang. And will one shot any of the anti-air ground units that you'd normally struggle with. So like Slingshots and Stealth Tanks mostly. They'll also annihilate your opponent's economy. Because Titans two shot Harvesters. So, um, what SRPSS has said is that you go double harvester against pretty much everyone except Solomon and Jade because they can base kill you. So we're going to be trying trying his strategy and seeing how this deck works out. It should be pretty good on this map pool as well. So yeah. Alright, so we're against Jade, so we're going to be doing one half here. If we win the first missile, we might double half. Three, two, one. Alright, so we're going to go Harvester first, and the reason for that is that we don't want to start charging the pads right away because uh, we want to get the game to go late because we want to, we have we have the Titan, so we want to stall. Also, the shorter the game is, the more likely we are to lose to um, Jade Missile. Oh, okay, so he's trying to bike rush us with wheels. Interesting. So what I'm going to do is use my missiles to kill his bikes and then my militants to block the wheels from getting over here. It doesn't matter because he ran away with the bikes. Okay, so I don't know if he has a harvester yet. He does. Alright. So we're going to go for more missiles. Just going to keep spamming missiles for now. Until he does something that stop forces us to stop. So we should see an infantry from our opponent pretty soon. Oh, Chuggy. Okay. Fine. We'll go Pitbull for that. All right, so we're gonna take first missile pretty easily here. I'm gonna grab another pit bull. I want to take out this chuggy if I can, so I can use missiles again. Scavengers, sure, don't care about that. Just gonna ignore them. I'll run my pit bull away from them. I want back up. I'm gonna get a razor back for these chems. Lost. Then we're going to try and go Titan pretty much as quickly as we can. So he has Chem Warriors and Chemical Buggy, which is unusual. Oops, I was meant to be moving my Pipple back, not my drone back like that. Alright, looks like... Hmm, not clear we're going to win this missile without a Titan. In fact, it looks like we're going to lose the missile even. Depends if we can get this Pipple onto the pad. No, we are going to lose this missile, so we're going to go Titan after that. Alright, so we're going to go Titan, and then generally what you do is you just send the Titan at their Harvester. And you try and just remove their economy from the game. Also, once you kill their harvest, you can afford another titan. And killing two titans is really difficult. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go straight for the half. And then we'll go hammerhead for this uh, this banshee. Alright, so we're going to back the titan up and Liang drone it. It's like basically indestructible with Liang drone. It does take a long time for Titan to kill uh, bikes, though. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, we'll send a hammerhead to this bottom pad, and that should be game over. Not going to be able to kill the stuff on the pads in time. Alright, cool. Mission accomplished. Three, two, one. 
Okay, so again, we're going to go Harvester first. In fact, against Solomon, we probably don't go blind double because they can technically blow up the base. So we'll just go uh, one Harvester rifles. See what he does. On missiles. Okay, so we'll go and pressure these missiles. Probably wants to go double Harvester here, given that he sent missiles to defend his Harvesters. Snipers. Okay, we're just going to back up. We're going to spam rifles until we get to 110 Tiberium, and then we're going to make a Razorback. You can actually overwhelm snipers with rifles in the early game. If the opponent doesn't if the opponent's blocking with light infantry like missiles, you can just do this. Or you just run tons of tons of rifles at them. Alright, I'm gonna go pitbull instead. Because we killed these snipers so easily, I'm gonna go pitbull instead and start harassing his harvesters. Although I should probably just make my own harvester so that I can uh, get titans quickly. That's what I'm gonna do. I have to just assume that we can beat whatever his tech is with Titan plus Hammerhead. Which most tech units you can beat with Titan plus Hammerhead. We're gonna go Razorback now. Who is, who is tech units going to be? It's a Wolverine. Okay, well, that doesn't even beat the Pitbull I already have out, so that's fine. A Liang drone as well, keep it alive. Heal up the uh, Razorback as well. And then we'll just go Titan. But I don't know if the Titan is even going to get here before the game ends. If it does, it'll one shot the Wolverine. Hello, Wolverine. Goodbye, Wolverine. Alright, cool. Destroyed. Alright, so we're against a Jackson player, so we're going to try going double harvester opening. That is what SRPSS says you're supposed to do. The opponent has not got on the pads yet, so he's probably also gone double harvester opening. Oh no, there's a pit bull. Interesting. We'll block it with the rifles and send some missiles so he can't harass our harvesters. Another pit bull. Interesting. Okay. Guess he's not worried about these missiles. We'll make some more missiles. Like he's going to try and go around the back of the harvesters. I'm just going to ignore that. Alright, we're going to need a razor back here. Building online. Unit ready. Unit lost. Okay, well. Building online. They're ready to make a Titan, I guess. First missile Titan, pretty good. We're gonna send it at this uh, pit bull. Right now we're gonna go for his harvesters. We'll bring a hammerhead out as well. Oh, zones. Titan actually beats zone 1v1. I know it's hard to believe, but if you, you get this angle left right, it'll win 1v1. Um, with Liang, it smashes it as well. Like it's not even close. Obviously, I have Liang and Razor back here, so yeah. Matchup is not remotely close. And now we go kill his economy. And even start going for his base with his Titan. Alright, pretty sure this game is over. Get the hammerhead on his base as well. Okay, cool. <laughs> Titan hype, I guess. Objective complete. Three, two, one. Okay, so we've got Jackson again. Uh, let's start with two harvesters again. He's already got a unit on the pads. Could be a jump jet rush. Could just be a dog or a rifle scout. 
like it's a dog scout to be honest with you. Oh, there's rifle scout. Okay. We're going to go and try and stall. All right, he's not interested in letting us stall. We'll, uh, we'll 2v1 his militants over here with rifles. And then we obviously just want to go for a Razorback as quickly as possible. Or stalling the pads. He's also gone Razorback, okay. We're just going to go Hammerhead. And this should be a pretty easy missile, to be honest. Okay, he's also single half, so yeah, we're way ahead now. We'll just go for a Titan as quickly as possible now. Yeah, we're just going to back up and wait for a Titan. He's the most aggressive slingshot I've ever seen. <laughs> Yo, what's up, slingshot? How's it going? Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Okay, and that's that. Titan, uh, Titan is unstoppable. Mission accomplished. Control. Uh, Davo, he's playing no half. Davo always plays no half, so we're gonna go one harvester against him. Three, two, we're just gonna use Razorbacks as much as possible. He's almost certainly gonna open wheels, I think, but Building online. yeah, if he opens militant and I open uh, right missiles, it's really bad. So I'm gonna open rifles. There's the wheels. Yeah, we really just need to get to a higher tier of unit as quickly as possible. So we're really looking to get our Razorbacks out as fast as we can. Like Razorbacks and Pitbulls and so on. Obviously, as a no half deck, he's heavily favoured on the first missile. I'm going to use Liangro to buy some time here. I don't know if it'll buy enough. No, it wasn't worth doing. I was hoping the missiles would kill his bikes in time, but they didn't. So I just wasted some money. Alright, so we need to get Razorback out. And then we'll just do Razorback plus missiles. Alright, Liang OP, always. Alright, if we take this missile, we're in really good shape, which we do. Alright, cool. So now we can just go for the Titan. It's going to be really hard for him to beat as a no harvester deck. I want to try and lose some of these units, like this one-man rifle squad and this one-man missile. All right, cool. There goes missiles. Try and get rid of the rifles. <laughs> I mean, Titan is unstoppable, Seth, so you're not wrong. There is no stopping the unstoppable Titan. All right, so we've got Razorbacks and Titans and Pitbull for every pad. Should be, should be fine here. Yeah, looks like we're good. All right, cool. I am in control. <laughs> you are victorious. Three, two. Okay, uh, up against Solomon, so we're gonna do one half. Building online. Unit ready. No unit from him yet. Okay, there's a rifleman. We want to stall, of course. We want to be fighting him on the pad. Or both units off the pad. 
to get defenders advantage here and these guys in as well not getting the stall here anymore which is annoying I'm gonna keep fighting this rifle war for now I don't want to go into Razorback in case he goes into Talon. Yep, there we go. Um, although I guess I could go Hammerhead. Probably better just to go Pitbull against Talons. We can always go Hammerhead if we need to later on, like if an Orca or something comes out. But there's an Orca. Okay, so we'll go Missiles for now because we can't afford a Hammerhead. Right, nice. Our rifles ate the shots from the Orca, so we'll trace it down now with the Pitbull. Ooh, Jump Jets. Okay, Jump Jets we need a Razorback for. We're gonna need a new pit bull. Deal with this talons. Yep. Talons unexpected. And the pit bull to the back pad. I'm gonna use the razorback to clean up these jump jets. Okay, cool. Block this guy if we can. Didn't quite get the block. Alright, we'll send this guy over here. He should be able to tank long enough. Bring a pit bull back and put the anger on the top pad. Oops. All right. Uh, it's close. I almost cocked that up, but I think we got it now. Yeah, cool. Got a pit bull on every pad. Nice. Get a fresh Razorback. That last Razorback I should not have uh, left on that pad. He did not tank as long as I was hoping he would. Okay, so he goes double half. Interesting. I should probably go double harvester as well. The anger on these guys back up. We get this harvester kill, we can just immediately make a titan. Ah, we didn't get it. Oh well, we can get a titan anyway. I'm gonna go after it with the Razorback. Nice, Razorback gets it. Now we've got Hammerhead. Then we'll send the titan, that is Harvester. There's an iron cannon. Doesn't kill the titan. Does buy him a lot of time, unfortunately. That orca should finish the titan. Yep. Okay. Uh, get on the pads? Oh, not in time. Sad. Alright, luckily we won the first missile, so we're not just dead. So we'll go kill his harvesters again. Definitely gonna need hammerhead here for these orcas. Another titan. The iron cannon comes down. Another Titan. <laughs> At this point we just have so much money it just doesn't really matter. Only a new Razor back though because we haven't got any anti-infantry right now. Although Titan actually does a pretty good job against infantry. Alright, after the game. Ooh, Titan is unstoppable. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New objective. Alright, Liang opponents, so we're gonna go double harvest to start. Harvester ready. One unit on this pad. Your rifleman. Building have a look. Rifleman, rifleman. Okay, let's try and stall. Okay, got missiles. Well, we're going to do the same thing we did last time this happened, where we try and 2v1 his rifles. Then we're going to go for a Razorback as quickly as we can. Building online. Unit ready. The slingshot, that's not good for me. Alright, we're gonna win the missile because of the Razorback. It's obviously insane for us because we have two harvesters. Like if he has two. No, he's only got one. Okay, so we're really far ahead now. 
We're actually just going to try and go straight into Titan to deal with the Slingshot. I don't care about his Razorback. Like, I don't care if my uh, my rifles die. They're not, they're not a concern anymore. In fact, I'd like it if they die so I get more Popcat back. Alright, so we're going to go Titan, take out his Slingshot. Then we're going to go Hammerhead. Guard the Titan. Yep, there's a Mohawk. We'll run away from that and get the Hammerhead to come in. Then we go for the Harvesters with the Titan plus the Hammerhead. They just surrenders. Alright, cool. Titan really is unstoppable. Okay, so Solomon means we're only going to go one half. What's he got? Dogs. Okay, that's bad. Bad for us. I'm going to have to go missiles to contest these dogs. We want to get these rifles onto a pad to try and uh, stall. But if, the, if he lets us do the dog plus rifle, the dog plus missile, we'll uh, dog versus rifle plus missile. There we go, that's what I was trying to say. And we'll, we'll do that. Again, we want to stall, so we're happy to do these fights on this pad. Alright, so he goes rifleman. That means it might be like a red style deck. We're going to go for a Razorback. For our missiles. Now, as long as he hasn't got Talon or Slingshot. Uh oh, there's the Talon. I was hoping that he wouldn't have that. Talon and Slingshot are the best ways to stop a Razorback in the early game. Alright, nice. So we have Control here. Drone Swarm as well. We're way ahead though. Like, we got all the pads. We should be able to take this missile. Okay, now we're just going to go Double Harvester and go for the Titans. Leave my razor back alone, man. What the hell? Do a hammerhead to take care of these talons. I'm gonna Leandro in to heal up this razor back. Then I guess we'll go Pitbull to deal with his Pitbull. I just want to go Titan as quickly as possible, though, really. I need to be stalling. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is stupid not having any stall going on. Yeah, I need, I need a Titan. Too many pit bulls now. They're safe for a Titan. Let's go down to an Iron Cannon. But we won the first missile, so we can just wait for another Titan. It's not a big deal. Major structural damage received. Unit ready. So we're going to need a razor back for the jump jets. Looks like he's going to try and base us. It requires more iron cannons than it used to to base someone though, so I'm not too scared. I'm going to go for his harvesters because he can't iron cannon me repeatedly if he has no money. Right, there goes the harvester. Right, there goes the titan and the hammerhead. We can rebuild both of them so it's not a big deal. We need a razorback though. We need to lose this missile squad so we can get a razorback. Alright, there we go. Now we've got the combo. We're going to put a harvester on a pad as well. Oh, we get the... Get the uh, Thing with the beam and we'll lay anger on this back pad and that should be game oh uh oh that's not good okay we're fine we're alive that was almost awkward okay i think we're good now i was a little close almost almost lost it when the people took out the liang drone but yeah we're good Accomplished. Three. Okay, so we're up against Liang. I'm gonna go double harvester. I'm pretty sure this guy plays a bunch of different tech units. So I'm being told he plays MG by my chat. Still gonna go double harvester start. Not seeing anything on the pads yet. Building online. Yeah, it looks like he's gone double harvester as well, or something will be on the pads. Oh, no, hang on. What's up with these dogs? And now Pitbull. Okay, is he going to try and rush me with dogs plus Pitbull? 
Very underwhelming rush. The uh, DPS on a Pitbull is pretty bad. Okay, well. Not sure what's up with the Liangro either. Take it out. I'll just Liangro in my Harvester as well. I'm actually okay with this because it's just buying loads of time. Not, he's not charging the pads at all while doing this strategy. And he's one half, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that went. We'll raise it back for these jump jets. Oh wow, snipers, we've already got a razor back four. Feels bad, man. Okay, I think we can just go Titan. Yeah, we're actually just at Titan already. Yeah, I mean, it's first missile, we're at like 130. Alright, should get first missile pretty easily. The Leandron over here. Grab another Titan. And we're gonna take out his Harvester, and that should be game. Yep, that's it. Alright, last match. We're up against NYC. He's playing Jackson, so we're gonna stay faithful to SRPSS's strat, and we're gonna go double Harvester. Harvester ready. No units on the pads yet, which either means he's double harvester or this. As I was about to say, it either means double harvester or he's gone missiles first towards my harvester. Alright, so we're going to get the rifles to take care of these missiles. Because he's opened barracks. Oh, there's some jump jets as well. So yeah, we're definitely going to go second rifles here. Send them around here because he's trying to, obviously clearly trying to get his missiles down there. And then we're basically just looking to hold off his infantry until we get a razor barrack, which is very soon. Here it comes. This should take care of everything. You can be my wingman. You can be my wingman. You need to move, move. Report. I'm on it. I'm a maverick of the sky. All right, so we use the Razorback to kill the shocks. The uh, rifles can take care of everything else. He is also a double harvester. No. That means that harvester kill will matter a lot. So I do need to be careful not to let him get a harvester. Because it'll accelerate his tech. So I'm actually going to Liangro to ensure he definitely doesn't get the harvester here. And we'll intercept his jump jets with these rifles as well to get some more damage on them. Yeah, they're trapped now. And we'll go Titan. He's got Wolverine, don't care about that. I'm gonna suicide a rifle squad. I actually don't want them anymore. I just want to replace them with higher tier units. I'm gonna suicide the other one as well. And then Titan's gonna take out this Wolverine and go for his harvesters. I'm actually just gonna go for the harvester, I don't even care about the Wolverine. Let's get another Titan. Alright, there goes the Harv. We're shooting the jump jets to get the harvester behind. Again, going for the harvesters. That's the whole point of this deck is you uh, you basically just cripple your opponent's economy with the titans rather than like trying to win pads with them. You just cripple your opponent's economy. And then because you can afford infinite copies of Razorbacks, Hammerheads and Titans, that covers every unit in the game pretty much. Like that's infantry, air and uh, vehicle covered by titans, Razorback and Hammerhead. And yeah, you can see how it, you can see it working here. This is pretty much uh, quintessential what this deck is about. And we're just going to keep punishing his uh, his economy with these titans. And there you go. 10-0 with the titan deck. Staying faithful to SRPSS's strategies. So this deck has been absolutely dominating tournaments this weekend, uh, last weekend and a little bit the weekend before. Um, interested to see how it does. Uh, the next weekend. This is I made this video on um, uh, Friday, April the tenth, by the way. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, um, this is the current dominant tournament deck. I don't know if this is going to be the new meta, but SRPSS is definitely like singing its praises. And yeah, there's a little tenno with that deck, so you can see the how the, how the deck plays out and what general strategy is. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you all next time.